Hello, welcome to day 15 in 30 Days to Unstoppable, Be the Dream Made Visible. The sixth sphere of wellness, presence. There is so much wanting to come through you. There is an entire realm of infinite possibilities just waiting on the brink of your awareness. All that is left for you to become present and stay present as you follow us to inspire present moment action that is in alignment with this dream. You often falter here. Your rational mind skips ahead to future steps, layers of the stream that are way out of the present moment. And because that image feels distant, unknown, because there is a lack of clarity or understanding about this step, because it is not present, you stutter. Energetically, you hit a speed bump. The guidance you are receiving in the present moment, the very next action you are being called to take is blocked. Or you allow your mind to guide you into your memory banks where you search for reassurance that this new dream you are being called into will work. You can't find it there because you have yet to experience it, so your rational mind tells you that it is not possible. You feel doubt, uncertainty, even fear. This is all understandable because your rational mind is past future based and is not the source of your unstoppable energy. Presence is what is required of you to take one little step at a time. Step by step, we will reach and stand together on the mountaintop to survey all you have co-created with your unstoppable self because of the energy, the choice you made to cultivate your sphere of presence. Today, you begin your unstoppableness in a very, very present moment. The power of the present moment is so important to understand. There is a reason it is the sixth final sphere of wellness because without it, truly, you will experience more stoppable than unstoppable. Your rational, logical mind is physiologically responsible for the past and future. This is the part of your awareness that stores all of your experiences up until now and then uses that information to project possible realities in the future. This is immensely valuable. We learn from our past and it's also vital that we prepare for the future, making sure we have enough wood chopped to make it through the winter, etc. And to balance this part of our awareness, we have our present moment, intuitive, creative awareness that gives us the ability to receive inspiration in the moment and take action in the direction of the new dreams coming through us without being blocked by the rational mind that wants to keep you safe, away from any unknown and out of reach of any potential risk or failure. Here's the call for you today. Bring yourself present into the energy of you as the unstoppable dream and ask yourself, what can I do right now that will bring me one step closer to realizing this dream into my reality? And if that step triggers your past future thinking, or if you feel any confusion or doubt, you are not present enough to receive just the very, very next thing you can do. Warning, (laughs) this very next step may seem too simple. It is not. It is what is right in front of you, available and accessible. And once you do that, the very next step will be given to you. Here's a sign that you want to send your attention into cultivating the energy of presence. Overwhelm. Ever feel that, right? Overwhelm is the energy you are feeling to let you know that you are getting way ahead of yourself. Bring your attention into the present moment. What can I do right now that will bring me one inch, not one mile, closer to what I desire? Your unstoppable dream requires that your sphere of presence is nurtured and filled. When you drive your car, really drive. When you are in the shower, feel each drop of water. When you read, keep your thoughts from wandering. When you are making love, be right there 100% in the present moment. Remember, becoming unstoppable simply requires nurturing your Metatron's cube of vibrational well-being. When these spheres of wellness are regularly attended to, your unstoppableness will flow. Let's fill up our sphere of presence now and feel into this present moment call to action. Right now, call in the awareness of you as a vibrational being. You as a vibrational being that is in union with the earth, material, physical energy, and the cosmic, energetic, vibrational, infinite energy. Because you are both of these things, 
You are the union. You are the infinite made visible. Connect to the energies surrounding you. These spheres of wellness are like reservoirs that you can draw from or tap into at any moment. Feel them supporting you, creating a vibrational net all around you that creates a sense of lightness, the feeling of being supported and loved. Connect now to your sphere of presence. What does being present mean to you? Take a moment, close your eyes, and receive the energy of this space, the state of being. What has your experience with the energy of presence been up until now? Is it, wow, I don't even know if I've ever been present? I don't know the last time I've been present? Or maybe it's, I'm present when I'm outside in nature. I am present when I'm painting. I am present when. How does it feel for you to be present? Connect to that now. Maybe there's an image that comes to you or a feeling. Maybe you feel it or you think it or you see it. Remember now what it is like when you're present. If you've had any moments recently where you forgot about the current events and the headlines, that would be an example of being present. What does it feel like when you realize that all the to-dos, the planning, the worries have melted away? Can you feel this connection now between presence and alignment? There is a clarity. There is a singular focus in the energy of presence. The opposite of presence may feel like a bucket with many, many holes punched in it. It is leaking its contents in never-ending streams. There is a scarcity, a fear of loss, of failure, of making a mistake as the energy leaks from the bucket. When you are present, there are no leaks. You're in your power, you're in your strength in that moment, doing exactly what you're meant to do, not worrying about something that might possibly happen in the future, not allowing a label or an experience in the past to stop you from doing what you want. You speak your truth, you hear your truth. Can you feel that difference now? Now ask your sphere of presence, how full are you? The fuller it is, the more familiar this energy will be. Does it feel like, oh my goddess, I need to go hear more? Or does it feel full? Like, okay, I'm doing this. Or maybe you're understanding now why you do what you do. Weeding the garden, knitting, driving, walking through the forest, writing in your journal. Because what you're actually doing is bringing yourself present. Presence is very much the portal. Or maybe it is this final last thing that absolutely needs to be in place to be unstoppable. This is because whatever it is you want to experience next in your life, you haven't experienced up until now. It is going to involve some unknown. And we know that our logical, linear, past future minds are physiologically programmed to resist all change. Presence is what allows your unstoppable nature to take the reins. It is only in the present moment that we can experience alignment, that we can take steps, just one step, and then the very next step towards whatever it is we're being called to create. I invite you to connect to something new that you really want to experience in your life right now. Maybe you really want to do a puzzle. <laughs> Maybe you want to paint something. Maybe you want to start an online business. Maybe you want to start writing a book. Maybe you want to fix up your basement. Maybe you want to help families in need, fertilize your house plants or bake a cake. Whatever it is, pick one thing now. There is no hierarchy of choices. It can be doing a puzzle, or it can be creating an online program, or it can be learning sign language. Whatever it is, allow yourself to notice the first thing that comes to mind or comes to your heart. What do you really just feel? What do you desire? What do you want to experience? Or you could ask your unstoppable self, what do you want to create through me next? What do we want to experience together? So what is that? Do you have something? It can even be something simple. If you're like, oh, I don't know, just use the equivalent of the puzzle example. Anything is fine for right now, right? So take a moment and pick the thing you wanna do. You may pause the video and write it down in your journal. Or if you have the physical book, you can write it in the book. Now bring yourself into this present moment and honor this desire that you've chosen. Even if it's the puzzle or a bubble bath, there's a reason. There's something else that will come after, even the simplest of actions, and you don't have to understand it all right now. In the present moment, you've been given this desire. 
You can feel it and you've chosen it. You've brought it into your space and now there's this element of action that joins this energy of presence, present action. I want you to ask your unstoppable self, what is the first step you want me to take? What is the first step you, who've given me this desire, who I know is wanting to create through me in this co-creative relationship, you who has everything I need, want me to take next? You see the big picture, but all that matters to me in this moment is the right now. What do you want me to do now? What's the one step? I don't have to know step two or three or step 100. What is the first step? And this is probably a very practical step. It's like, well, we need to get a puzzle. Go to the store and buy a puzzle. All you need to know is this first step. That's all that matters. It's all that exists. Nothing else is of consequence or nothing else needs to come into the picture except just this very next step. And does that next step feel doable? Say you desire a bubble bath. The first step would be to plug the drain, right? I mean, if you turn on the hot water before closing the drain, the tub won't fill. Then turn on the water. You don't need to find the bubble bath yet because it is impossible to take a bubble bath in an empty tub. See how easy this can be? If it doesn't feel doable, that's fine, but that means you're still ahead a step or two. Simply ask, what is before that step? We're talking about today, right now. So if it doesn't feel doable today, say, okay, good to know that step exists, but what's the step I can do now? See how we can be so sneaky at keeping ourselves out of the present moment? Now I want you to say to yourself out loud, I am going to take this step now. Feel into what is different. Is there a level of trust that maybe hasn't been there before? Is there an energy of clarity or alignment? Is there an energy of the weight of the world coming off your shoulders? Like, oh my gosh, I've been making this so difficult. What does that feel like? Like liberation or freedom? That's all I need to do? It's that simple? Okay, I can do that. That's how it should feel. I can do that. And even check, do you feel that? I can do that. If not, there's a step before that. It might be looking up on YouTube, how to, dot, dot, dot. Keep going until you get that very next step and it feels so simple and easy. And then once you do that step, what do you do next? Repeat. What is your very next step? Pause the video and write it down or choose it in your mind. Can you now see and feel how easy it is to get ahead of ourselves? We can get so far ahead of the process that we've totally taken the present moment out of the equation. We're in this future unknown reality, already deciding that this future unknown reality is not reachable for us or not available to us. And so we don't take just that simple first, first, first step. Now, when you feel that unstoppable dream energy inspiring your present moment, you understand the call to focus on the very present moment and receive the very next step. Then, the next will be revealed as well, and the next. This is the secret of anyone who is highly creative, anyone who inspires the question within you, I don't know how you do it all. This person harnesses the power of presence. If you are wondering what you can do now to cultivate this energy of presence, you can choose to do something totally new or different than you would normally. Doing anything new cultivates and stimulates your present moment awareness. After all, the present moment is all we really know for sure, right? Namaste. Mm -hmm.